Uh, good morning, everybody. So we're back with today's lawful reading. We're picking up on Leviticus chapter 12. Now, just before we cut these cameras on, right, sis and I, we were sitting here and she's noticing now the difference mm. between uh, all of the books. This one, all of these books, they tell you what is the decree. Now, if you're from the Western society, decrees may be foreign to you. Yes. Okay? Unless you have a king or a queen or some royal family. A decree is like a sovereign law. It cannot be broken. It cannot be changed. It cannot be altered. It's not up for election. So there's no proposal 249. There is, this is the decree. And so she's looking at this because yesterday when we read, this is the decree on the foods that you are permitted to eat. That's it. You eat this of animals and that's it. And I was laughing because I was like, I have been saying this for a long time because people don't understand. This is a decree of all the animals in the world. The Most High decreed this to his people. To eat. To eat. Now, this is what I eat. I eat these things. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you feel about it. And I don't eat other things outside. And I said, the Most High doesn't care about what the Chinese, mm -hmm. the white, or any Africans eat. He says, his people, not everybody, everybody else do what they want to do, but his people eat this. Right. And that's it. Right. And so she's laughing. She's like, it, it, it's a decree. I was laughing. I was like, yeah, it's a decree. It's not a, there's no vote on this. I mean, he has made a decree. This is what you eat. He didn't tell you go back and eat like they did in the garden. He didn't say that. He gave a decree. This is an order. This is how you eat. I don't care what the animal eat, what how they do it. I said, Yaya says, eat like this. So what makes you think that you can put yourself back in the garden? Man, how bold are you to go against his decree? Man, that's a king. Yeah's the king. And he gave an order. And nothing changes that. Not at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's not up for your opinion. This is why I say, listen, this this is my law. Yeah. And this is as king over the children of Israel. I am telling you this is your law. Now, whether you know it or not, whether you accept it or not, and your overall opinion about what I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Hmm. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you're going to be punished for not keeping this law regardless because you only get to keep this law hmm. in this land. Hmm. You can never return, never return and not keep it. You know, like yesterday, after we read this, the first thing I did was went to the cabinet. I had dark soy sauce and regular soy sauce. Because of what I read about the jelly and the sauces and soy sauce does have some fish in there to even make it the color it is. If not, they put in dye. Well, what kind of dye? Because, you know, the, the fake imitation vanilla essence is beaver juices. Come from the behind. First thing I did, as soon as the camera went off, went straight to the camera, went in the trash. I didn't have to think about it. It wasn't up for no vote. It was, he said, and I did. Because it's a decree. It's that simple. It's your choice. Now, if you want some blessings, you're going to follow it. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue living your deplorable lives in substandard conditions, 
unto your death continue. It, it don't bother me none. I'm just telling you this is what it is. <laughs> All right? So, and that goes for every rule Ooh. and decree that I am telling you. Because everything I'm reading to you is our law. Because we haven't gone back to judge, to practice the judgments yet. Right. I'm just telling you what the laws are. And it's a decree. This is a decree. Because you're a king. Yes. <laughs> Whether you submit to my rule or not. It doesn't change who you are. Don't change who I am. And doesn't, it don't change what the law is. It doesn't change the fact that you're committing the crimes. And it also doesn't change the fact that you're receiving the punishment for committing these crimes. Because you're hearing. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're still accountable. You accountable. Mm -hmm. Don't cry about your son that got shot down by the police. Go mm -hmm. cry about him. Go ahead. He got shot because you wasn't obeying this law and you wasn't under this jurisdiction and you didn't build what you needed to build for him. And you've been keeping your head exposed in your neck. No hijab. You see what I'm saying? So it's the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. You, you want to go and confront Whoever about what they didn't do in the past, they didn't do it because the king not present. Right. And the veil was was there. So, so they, they, you can't see, see it. it. Right. They couldn't see it. Now that you don't have this blockage and, you know, without the blockage, without without anything, everything become clear. You mm -hmm. have a choice. And you know what, Rabbi Sheik? You know, I've heard for. For a very, very long time, because I was once part of the Christian church being generational uh, break curse breakers. Mm. I'm going to tell you the most simplest thing to break generational curses. You don't have to go and make a whole lot of money. You don't have to have the bank account. It's only one thing that's going to break the generational curses, and that is this law. That's it. You so, decide to follow it. And it, it just leads you down a path that will lead you to rebuilding, reestablishing an entirely new country for yourself and for your people after you. That's all it does. Yes, because our generational curses comes because of the breaking of the covenants and the laws. That's where these generational curses. So as Rabbi Sheikh always says, you go forward and then you go backwards. <laughs> it's forwards and backwards. It, yeah. it, it has to be the same. Yes. No other way. No it, praying, it, no fasting, the break curse. No. All you got to do is follow this law. Come follow the instruction. Yeah. And right? I'm talking about from this book. Yeah. The, the, you can't go and get every one. I'm telling you the Uziel for a reason. We have a copy of the Uziel available online. You can purchase you a copy or you can go to Kindle and you can get the same copy that we have here. But it's available to you. Yeah, because, you know, I tried doing it from the other books and nothing changed. Do you ever think about that? Nothing changed? So something ain't right. But I will tell you this. Since I started with this book. Of Uziel from the tribe of Levi. I see the difference. I see the changes in me and those around me. Oh, yes, I see the changes. See, so picking up chapter 12, verse 1. And Yah spake with Moshe, saying, Speak with the sons of Israel, saying, when a woman hath conceived and born a male child, she shall be unclean seven days as the days of the removal of her uncleanness shall she be unclean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first off, I need you to understand something. When your woman starts a cycle, this is the practice here. She leaves from the bedroom and goes into her own room of uncleanness. 
Mm-hmm. Okay? So every married man has a minimum of two bedrooms. Mm-hmm. Okay? Every married man has a minimum of two bedrooms. For him, one for him, and an extra one for his unclean wife. Mm-hmm. Okay? Minimum. Mm-hmm. After that, you get three, four. But that's what we do. Mm-hmm. So when your wife is on the cycle, she goes over there. She stays over there for seven days. And that's till she deal and finish with her uncleanness. Ain't got nothing to do with <laughs> when her cycle stops. Whether it stop on the third day, fourth day, fifth day, I don't care. She's over there seven days. Yes. Period. If a cycle lasts longer than seven days, she stay over there till she stops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, this woman has just given birth. She's over there for seven days. At the end, after the seventh day, on the eighth day. She shall be loosed. What? She shall be able to come out and and she can go and go to the priest. This is for a reason. It's not just she's loose on like outside everywhere. Right. Okay. She shall be loosed and her child shall be circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. So now she's unclean seven days. On the eighth day, she is considered clean because we have to take her and the child because we have to have this sacred event come to pe- come into to play, into being. Mm-hmm. Okay? And 30 and 3 continuous days shall she have for the purification mm-hmm. of the whole blood. Mm. So now she has seven days plus one day plus 33 days for the whole of the blood. So she was clean for one day for this event. And now she have to finish out the rest of the 41 day purification process. Mm. But she must not touch things sacred. So we have common things, now that you've read most of the sacrifices, Mm -hmm. we have common things and sacred things. Mm -hmm. She can touch common things, Mm -hmm. but she cannot touch sacred things. Mm -hmm. All right? Nor come into the sanctuary. So she cannot come into, when they say the sanctuary, into the communal gatherings at this time. Mm -hmm. She is to be separate in the tent or in the house with the baby. She has handmaids to tend to her. She is right now vulnerable. She needs to be cared for. She's not going outside except for maybe some necessity, a little sunlight, a little fresh air. But she has someone to help care for her and manage with this new baby. This is delicate time. This is for the protection. This is for the nurturing and the re-nourishment because you've had to make an entire person. Right, right. And this is why it is good for our men to have some extra wives to help out with this. (laughs) This is what it's supposed to be. It's not... Mm-hmm. The woman needs more woman support. support. Yes, ladies. And the ladies, you want to say, I know you want to say, well, we can hire somebody. Listen, uh, you can do and come up with whatever idea you want. If your man listen to you, he's stupid. Yes. Right. Because I'm going to tell you, as we get deeper, you're going to come to learn. The men have the power of possession. Yes. The land and what comes from it. The housing, the building, right? The ordering, right? The setting things in place and the processing and the maintenance of the entirety of the system. The man had this power. 
When it comes to the things that work within the system, the money, the market, the shopping, this woman, this is woman power. Money is woman power. It just keeps the weights and measures accurate and balanced. So you don't take advantage of the woman. Mm -hmm. She knows when she goes to get this, if she's a woman and she wants to get, uh, uh, she cannot transfer uh, large weights. Right? Right. She can't carry it. So it's easier for a woman to go and say, um, I want this and I give this equal value. Mm -hmm. It's light. It's some silver, some gold, something. Mm -hmm. So that she can make the exchange. Mm -hmm. If she want land, she can buy land. This land is valued in this. She can make it in silver, in gold. Mm -hmm. She herself, when she get married, she's given gold and silver and some gift. Right? In Arabic, they call it the mahar. You give some gift. This gift, gold, silver, whatever is discussed, is given to her so she can make what she needs for the family in the future. Right? She has children. She wants to make some establishment for the children. This is the woman's power. It's not man power. <laughs> yes. When I talk with a man, it's the agreement and the just weight and measure of the agreement. Mm -hmm. I tell a man, listen, bring me 5,000 kilos of rice. Fill my silo. I give you 5,000 kilos of corn and fill your silo. Now I got two silos, one with rice, one with corn. Mm -hmm. And so I'm able to do business because the corn comes in its season and the rice comes in its season. Right. <laughs> it takes a lot of manpower to move it. I have to pay workers and there's a, a larger system at work. Mm -hmm. However, for the woman, she don't have workers like this. She only have her sister wives mm -hmm. who are covenanted to me. This is what keep them in the house. Right? Yes. And she may have some maids that I have hired to support her. But again, they still <laughs> have to have a contract agreement with me. Yes. Yes, yes. So women, the your men will have to deal with the women. So you end up dealing with it or dealing with it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have this loose woman thing. It, right. It's ridiculous. You cannot protect something that is loose. Right. <laughs> All right. So. She must not touch the sacred things or come into the sanctuary until the days of her purification be completed. Mm. And if she has born a daughter, she shall be unclean 14 continuous days, according to the law of her separation. And on the 15th day, she shall be loosed or released. But 60 and 6 continuous days shall she have for the Fulfillment of the purification of blood. So for the son, mm -hmm. she does seven. Right. She's released for one. And then she have another uh, uh, 33 days. For the, for the daughter, she has to do double for the mm -hmm. purification. Mm -hmm. Why does the mother have to do double the purification for a daughter? I don't know, sir. Oh. You see, because the son on the eighth day have to have circumcision. Right, because of this, Abraham's covenant. This circumcision is part of Abraham's blood covenant right. Mm. This Abraham. So the son have to give from his own okay. to purify himself. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. the daughter, she don't have the circumcision mm -hmm. right. 
Right. So the mother has to do double the cleansing、mm. for her and for the daughter because this daughter's next blood covenant will be to her husband.、Mm. That's when she h a v e a blood covenant because she's going to lose her virginity to him.、Mm, wow.、Mm. So the son's blood covenant is with his circumcision. In his circumcision. He is and, circumcised and he creates this blood covenant coming under the right of Abraham. The daughter. Her blood covenant is to her, her husband. husband. Keep your daughters as virgins, please. Please. Oh, you didn't know. Sex h a v e a blood covenant with it. Yes. 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 We're talking about blood rights. This all in this law.、Mm. You want to talk about deep magic? This is the deepest. <laughs> I don't need to float. I don't need to do nothing. This magic's so deep, it affects you 5,000 miles away. You sit there underneath another government law that you know punishes you after they drug you over there. And your only hope for freedom is to find me and obey this law. There's no amount of prayer or oil, or I'm somebody special. I'm some this, this is nothing. I promise you, you can go everywhere. There's nothing.、Mm-hmm. Until you build and rebuild, you have to build to rebuild.、Mm-hmm. If you're not building, you're not rebuilding. I have to rebuild an old kingdom in order to do that. We must build as a people.、Mm. As a people, not by yourself. Not by yourself. I said as a people, that means as a nation. You must come under the kingdom. You can be under another king, but that king still h a v e to come under this law of this kingdom. There's no other way. You think, you think I'm lying? Try it. Yes. Go. You think I'm lying? <laughs> you think my God is a joke. I understand.、Mm-hmm. As I'm reading to you, you're becoming more guilty. And the more you think about it, <laughs> the more it concerns you because your guilt is mounting up. Oh, yes. Okay. And when the days of her purification are completed for the son or the daughter. So now it doesn't matter whatever you've had, when you finish, right? You have to now come, right? And present your offering after your purification. Okay, quick question. I want to make sure I have this clear. Okay, for the son、mm-hmm. and for the daughter. On the eighth day, For the son is a release day because he's got to get circumcised.、Mm-hmm. And then you count another 33, 33 days.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So for the daughter, on the 15th day,、mm-hmm. it's a free day.、Mm-hmm. And then you count 66, 66 days. Right. So it's not, oh, 15 is 16, 17, 18 to 66. No, it's 15th the first- day. And then one to the 66th、right. day. Okay, got it. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's how it works. There's the first stage. This is for cleanness.、Mm-hmm. Now she's free, and then she has to go and finish the days of purification. Two stages. So when she has a menstrual, she has her seven days. Uh-huh. Then a free day,、mm-hmm. and then another seven days for the purification. Right. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Just, it's the same count, seven days. After this, she's loosed, meaning she no longer has to separate、okay. herself. Herself.、Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying?、Mm-hmm. She, doesn't, she can now come and hug the husband and, and be around and be near. 
Okay. Now, on the days of her purification, mm -hmm. can she still be intimate with her husband or no? Um, in childbirth, no. no. Okay. In childbirth, no. Okay. However, when you are talking about the days of her uncleanness, she is permitted to take for herself another seven days. Also, oh, it's her choice. Right. She can cut it anytime in that. between. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But this whole purpose of the practice of this separation is not so much for of of the practice of separation like it is just how i feel it's not mm -hmm. so much for how you feel it's so much for your understanding and your obedience to an instruction right separating the sacred from the common right your sacred and your common so you have to understand you're doing this first in your monthly cycle but this preparing you for the birth cycle it mm. will work the same way. Oh, okay. Right? It's 14 days of separation if you birth a daughter. Right, right. Mm. 14 days. The same 14 days as the uncleanness and the purification, purification. if you were on your cycle. It's the same. same. Right. Wow. So it's a learning tool. It's a, it's a learning tool to learn how to separate from your husband for this time. And you become accustomed custom. to it. It become accustomed. Right. So it doesn't feel like a task. It's not a torture. It's not a punishment. Right. It's a custom. Mm -hmm. And if you start creating reasons to break the custom. You're a covenant breaker. You become a practice covenant breaker. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now... When the days of her purification are complete for the son or the daughter, she shall bring a lamb of its year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering mm -hmm. unto the door, unto the priest at the door of the tabernacle of ordinance. Mm -hmm. And it shall be for the priest to offer it before ye God to make atonement for her. Mm -hmm. What is she atoning for? The shedding of blood. blood. Then... Shall she be purified from either source of her blood? Okay? Mm. This is the law of purification of her who have born a son or a daughter. Mm, a law. This is a law. <laughs> Not how you feel. Nobody asks how you feel. What you think. Or what you think. Okay? Mm. We'll be right back. Hmm. Mm -mm. Now here, see, she brings it. Yes, yeah, she brings it. But in the her menstrual, the husband brings. No, she brings both. Oh, right. So in the menstrual cycle, for those who don't know, because we haven't even gotten it yet, yeah. but in the menstrual cycle, she brings two birds. Okay, it's it, whether two pigeons or two turtle doves. So your husband have to have some pigeon soils from somewhere, right? Or you're going to be buying pigeons from your neighbor who's breeding pigeons. Mm. Right. So now we're talking and he says, uh, so this is the law pure of, of the offering of the sacrifice of the purification from birthing a son or birthing a daughter. You need to bring a lamb and a pigeon. That's what it asks for. That's what it says. That's what we do. Mm. Yeah, right. it, it is no change in it. OK. Right. And it's to make atonement for her because she has shed blood. Mm. Right. There's bloodshed involved in this. Mm. All right. There's blood on her. There's blood on the doctor. There's blood right. on the table. Yes. There's blood on the baby. Right. And blood makes things unclean. Mm. So there has to be an atonement. But if her hand, but if she find not her hand sufficient to bring a lamb, let her bring two turtle doves or two mm. young prisons, one for the burnt offering and one for the sin offering, and the peace shall make atonement for her, and she shall be clean. Mm. So now, again, if, you, if it's a lamb and a bird, but if you don't have the sufficiency for the lamb that's expensive, mm -hmm. just bring two birds. birds. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, these two birds, either the turtle doves or two young pigeons. Okay, so this is the law of the birthing, which is the beginning of the law of cleanness and uncleanness, right? And we're dealing with the birthing process first. Mm-hmm. We'll get to the, the law of uncleanness of the menstrual cycles, but it he mentions it, so I have to mention it and I have to give you a little clarity. So you have to be aware of the separation. Most people are not aware of this separation. No, they're not. Right? You just lay in the bed with your wife every day. Mm. Now both of y'all women. I didn't make the rules. I'm just telling you what it says. Mm-hmm. It says both of y'all women. If you lay with her and she's on her daily cycle, you now like a woman, you unclean the same amount of days. Mm-hmm. The most high considers you a woman. You have debased yourself. So it says the place where she lays and the place where she sits is unclean. So this uncleanness, just separate yourself. You know, have some shame. Let yourself go through its cycles. You know, let yourself purify. Deal with your issue. You need the time. You are, you are emotionally unbalanced. You are going through this change in your body to reset, to be ready to birth. Mm-hmm. Let it reset. Mm-hmm. Right? Stop trying to pretend like you don't have this woman's cycle. Mm -hmm. Y'all act like the moon come up every day trying to be the sun. The moon is the moon. Right. And it goes through its cycles. Mm -hmm. Let the sun be the sun. Let the moon be the moon. Mm Mm-hmm. And, and you know, because um, uh, experience of someone that I know, because in the Western society, you know, those of you that are trying to conceive to have children, you're told, well, after your menstrual, you have these many days of ovulation to get pregnant right after your cycle. You're going to get pregnant. When your yard is ready for you to get pregnant, stay obedient to the law. Do your seven days, do your of cleansing, do, do your, your time of purification, purification, because you are practicing and you are doing right covenant. Right, you're just practicing. And yeah. again, like I said, I say this: it says for the men to permit her mm-hmm. the extra seven days. Yeah. It's permitted to her. Yeah. If she wants only three or four of those purification days, yeah. Fine. I always tell this the man should have like a requirement. I need you to do a minimum. Mm. Yes, yes. You can make her make her say, listen, I know you are free on this day, but I am not that thirsty. <laughs> right. <laughs> there right. should be a minimum. And you set this minimum according to whatever. Yeah. Right. You know, right. this is this wife, this woman. Look, you know what? Let's give it two days. Yeah. So yeah. you have this. Mm. Now you have to make the sacrifice. We clean this. Okay, give me two days and I will come to you. Yes, yes, yes. But this is a discussion and you have to have this right. with the woman. Yes. Like, give at least this time, three mm-hmm. days, four days. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some women, like, they need the extra time. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you so thirsty, I'm going to tell you, you run into a problem. Say you get this young girl, she's a virgin or whatever, you make love to her, and uh, on the eighth day, and she's spotting again. Now she get another seven days because you thirsty. Ooh. So she's got to do the whole thing again. Start all over again. The whole thing again. Wow. Mm. So better you wait, give a few days, let her, you know. Fully close up, let her purify, let her be ready. And then, okay, 
maybe a little more, and now. There's a patience involved. She will ovulate sometime between the 14th and the 15th day. Mm -hmm. You are conditioning her body to have this ovulation cycle to optimize the pregnancy. So this conditioning will get her into a a pregnancy cycle to where she will ovulate at this time. Mm. Wow. There is a conditioning. Mm. You see? So that means, yeah, yeah, y'all, the most high already had this thought out because 14 days, 15 days is usually when both your cleansing and your purification is over. It's over. So he already made. (laughs) You have to tell the one who made the body. You cannot tell the one who made Made this body body how it's supposed to to function. (laughs) He's telling you, "Ah, make it like this. Because you want her to have a strong womb. You want her to have easy birth. This is conditioning. Right. So he's already made a provision. So forget about this, what you're learning in the Western world. Forget science. I'm not dealing yes, with science. Forget about that. There's a law. There is yeah. an instruction. Yes. You know? So for the days of purification, I tell you straight. Just let her be able to readjust. Permit her. Yeah, no, her. take your time. We don't have to today. Mm-hmm. If you really need, in a day or two, I will come to you. Until then, relax. We don't have to be thirsty. Mm-hmm. I don't have mm-hmm. to have your body in this way on the fifth day because your cycle went off and you so horn control yourself. Mm. If you can't control yourself, for me, you can't control yourself, anybody. You just walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't control yourself to the other one other laws and decrees and yeah. covenants that are made. Self-control. Control Self yourself. yourself. Your body work like this no matter what you feel mm. or what you think, this is how your body works. Do it this way. Mm. Yes. Right? Yes. And the, again, this not for everybody. This for the seed of Jacob. Yes. All right? If you want to be like the seed of Jacob, you may join in with the instruction. Mm. We doing it this way. Mm. You want to do something else? Do it your way. I don't care. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And Adam and Eve walked in this same law. That's where the law was it, it, was it, was spoken it, the law from was the beginning there before Adam and Eve. That's right. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there because <laughs> we're gonna read all the law first. Yes. Then we're gonna go back to the beginning with the law mm-hmm. and judge the process. Oh, I look forward to right. We're going to judge the four, the first ones, the forefathers of the faith, the forefathers. When I say faith, not the religion. So the forefathers who walked in the law, that's the faith, right? You have faith in the American government. You have faith in your government, no matter where it is, because you obey its laws and decrees or face that law's punishment. Yes. So you have faith in that government. So Mm -hmm. I have faith in my law. I walk according to it. I receive its benefits Mm -hmm. or I receive its punishments. Mm. So this is uh, how we continue. So if you notice, I tell you this, you may have, if you've been here for a while, you notice like, wow, we're putting up a lot of material from like every day. You may have noticed like we are going step by step Mm -hmm. and I'm not taking too many sections, right? I'll take the section for what it is. If it takes a few days, it takes a few days. This one, we dealt with one thing and that's it. Because mm-hmm. it's going to go to another topic. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to continually build on the topics. In our law, one law does not supersede or cancel another. There is a variation, a slight variation according to a person's makeup. 
mm-hmm. a person's situation. Mm-hmm. But the law is the same. But there is this little variation for things that this person cannot control. Right. And as well as it's, it's like a leveling. You know, you have this law and then this one, but it doesn't get rid of this law or replace it. This law still stands. It stands. It still stands. They're just building upon upon each each other. other. Right. Each one is expounding upon the other so that, you know, as something else happens in a slightly different variation, there is a way to get back to the original law, deal with the original issue and continue forward. Yes. So that's our time for today. One step, one step. I'll see you all next time. One.